Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to make part 1 of Ubuntu. Ubuntu is the Scheepjes Cal 2018 and has been designed by Deidre Ice from Look at What I Made. In part 1 of Ubuntu I'll show you how to make this diamond. This diamond has 8 rounds and I'll take you through all of them step by step. I'm using the XL kit. There are three kits available for this cow. I've got the stone washed river washed XL kit. You've got both stone washed and river washed yarn in the kit. I've got the XL version. There's also a regular version, so the normal river washed and stone washed yarn, and there's also a cotton aid version. So depending on which kit you have, you'll just have to check what your colors are. But you're going to be making a diamond in your six contrasting colors. I'm using a 5mm hook with the XL kit. If you have a different kit, just check which hook size you need for that. So I'll just take you through these 8 rounds that make up this diamond. Important, leave your yarn attached at the end of part 1, because we're just going to be continuing with the same colors in part 2. I'll take you through this diamond. I hope it's a useful video for you. Thank you for watching. For round one, and actually for all rounds actually, I'm using a 5mm hook to make the motif. So this is the smaller of the two indicated hook sizes for the XL yarn. If you're using one of the other kits also, you're going to use the smaller of the two hooks. The larger one you're only going to use to join your motif. So for all your motifs you're going to use the smaller of the two. So the 5mm for the stone washed and the river washed XL. I'm going to start with a magic ring. I have here my yarn. I'm going to take a proper yarn tail to make the magic ring. I'm going to cross it over my fingers to make a cross, like that. I'm going to go into the loop underneath and pick up my working yarn and pull that through the loop. Then pick up the working yarn again and pull through. That's a magic ring. I'll show you again. Maybe that went a little fast. So this is my yarn tail. Cross it over. You have a ring there. Go into the loop. Pick up your working yarn and pull through. Then grab your yarn again and pull through. That's your magic ring. I'm always in the habit of just untwisting these two so that my yarn tail is completely free. That's just a habit I have. And then make sure you actually start working with the long tail, the, the, the tail that's connected to your ball, and not accidentally start working with this one. You won't be the first one to make that mistake. Now, we're set to go. Start with a chain five. It's one, two, three, four, five. This chain five counts as a double treble and a chain one. So that's a two stitches there together. So it's a double treble and a chain one. We're now going to make another double treble. So it's twice over. And remember I'm using UK terms here. Grab your yarn and in that ring. So everything we're going to be doing in that ring. And complete the treble, the double treble. So this is your first corner that you just made. I'm just going to hook a stitch marker in there and I'm going to be doing that for all four my corners. I'm continuously going to have a stitch marker in the four corners and that's to help me find the corners and also to help you count. So if you don't want to do this that's fine. This is just something I'm going to do to um, help those of you that are maybe just slightly less familiar with um, the more intricate stitches and the build up of this pattern. So this is what my first corner. Okay. Continuing, that was the double treble, now a treble. So yarn over and in the ring make the treble followed by a half treble. Chain one. And this chain one is again a corner stitch. So you can hook on a stitch marker now or just do that afterwards. I'm just going to make the next half double for the next edge. 
and then in between there you've got that chain one you can see there I'm just going to put a stitch marker in there and that's for my next corner so I'm just going to open that up in between there in that gap I'm just going to put a stitch marker so you can see that's the one corner and that's the next corner and there you've got the three stitches that was the half treble now come back up work a treble And then the double treble on my yarn is a bit stuck here. Oh, there we go. Sometimes hard when the ball is new to, with one hand, pull out that yarn. And then the last one, the double treble. So that's another edge. Chain one. Again, this is a corner. Twice over. And a, another double treble. In that corner there, I'm just going to mark that again. Now let me just see, I've got another green stitch marker here. So that's nice because then I have the greens opposites and I'm going to make sure I have another blue one to opposite that. So that's of course ridiculous, you don't need that, but those are just little things that I like to do to, um, yeah, just looks nice. Next stitch is a treble followed by a half, half treble. Chain one, that's another corner there. I'm just going to hook up that last stitch marker there. I'm just going to do it before I do the half double. You can also do it after you've done the next half double. So that's my fourth corner. And then work a half treble and a treble. And now you do not work the double treble because you've already done the chain five there. Then that fourth chain four was your first stitch. Pull the free tail, your free yarn tail. I'm going to pull that, and as you do so, the ring is going to close. And you're going to have to put quite some force on that to get this to close. And you can see your diamond that's forming there. Then on the fourth of these five stitches, the chain five on the fourth one, I'm going to close with a slip stitch. If you just look at where your stitches are, you see there's the treble, there's the chain five, so then that next to it is the fourth one. So just push your hook in there and close with a slip stitch. And now you can see, if you, I'm just going to pull it a little tighter, you can see your, your diamond you can see how it's shaped. You've got the, you've got three stitches between your corners, and that's also how we're going to be counting. So you see, you've got a treble, uh, sorry, a, a, a double treble, a treble, and a half double treble. So you've got those three stitches there. You've got them there and there and there, and that's also how you're going to be counting between those chain corner spaces. So that's round one. This was your base. If you can get this. I think we're going to be able to do the rest as well. Round two. You're going to slip stitch into this chain space and then we're going to slip stitch into the chain one itself. So we're going to do two steps for the start of the row. So into the chain one space with a slip stitch. And then you've got the chain one itself here, there, just into that chain one, just make another slip stitch. And you're going to do this on each round. That's going to help you to make your corners nice and pointy and, uh, and to just make your, um, your work more neat. Now we're ready to actually start round two. Chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. This counts as a double treble and a chain one. Make another double treble, so that's twice over, in that same chain one space. Two, three. And this is your new tip, that's your new corner. So I'm just going to move the stitch marker up to this new round. Like I say, you don't have to use these stitch markers, but if it helps you to count just to see where your corners are, do take them with you. So 
So that was the double treble. Now two trebles in the same space. So in that same space. So that's one and two. We're going to skip this first stitch, that little stitch there. You see it's also kind of your your work is falling over it. So that stitch we're going to skip. And then the second one here, we're going to work in. And that last one, before we get to the chain one space, that one we're going to skip also. So in that center of the three stitches, that one there, we're going to work a half treble, chain one, and a half treble. So in that second stitch, skipping that one in the next, work a half treble, chain one, and a half treble in the same stitch. We're going to skip this next stitch, that one, we're going to skip that, and then in the chain one space here, that's your um that's your corner, going to work a new corner. So in there with a half treble chain one. I'm just going to move the stitch marker up because this chain one is of course my new corner and another half treble in that same space. See that's your new corner there. Here we're going to do the same. We're going to skip the first stitch. It's going to be that one there. You can see that's a bit hidden. Then go to the next and work a half treble. chain one and a half treble in the same stitch. Skipping this stitch, go to the chain corner space, chain one corner space there, We're going to work two trebles, one and two, followed by a double treble, so that's twice over, one, two, three, chain one, and this chain one is a new corner, and another coming down double treble, I'm just quickly going to move the stitch marker and then we make two more trebles. That's the corner, and then in that same space, two more trebles. So one and two. On the next edge, on this side, we're going to do exactly the same as we did on that side. Skip the first stitch, in the second, work a half treble chain one and a treble. Skipping the next stitch, that one there, in the chain space, you've got the marker in, work a half treble, chain one, move your stitch marker, or you can do it after you've done the next half treble, that doesn't matter. If I can just quickly it over there, and there we go. And another half treble. The last edge. Go to skip the first stitch. That's this one here. You can see it's also being hidden by your work. And the next one. Work a half treble. Chain one. And a half treble. Your last stitch you're going to skip, that's actually the chain 4 here, you're going to skip that stitch. Then in the chain 1 space, we've already got several stitches, going to work 2 trebles. And you're going to just kind of cover these slip stitches that you have there. So just kind of cover those with your new stitches. So that's one treble and a second treble. Then 
close on the fourth chain with a slip stitch. So again, look at your work. There's a top chain, and then one down. Just got to push in my hook and close with a slip stitch. If I just turn my work slightly, it's easier for you to see where you're at at the moment. And the stitch count that's given is between one uh, or between any two stitch markers. So this is a stitch count will be the same as there, will be the same and will be the same. So that's also how to double check that you've got the right amount of stitches for each round. Round three. We're again going to make a slip stitch into the chain one space and then make a slip stitch into the chain one. So in there. A slip stitch. Then you're ready to actually start the round. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Counts as a double treble and a chain one. Another double treble twice over in the chain one space. Two, three. I'm going to just move the stitch marker to the new corner because this is your new corner. That's well the chain one space at the top. That's a new corner. Two more trebles in this space. So one and two. And that completes well one half of the corner. I'm going to work a treble in the first two stitches and especially that first one, that one's really hidden so make sure that you see it. If you don't, just pull open your work and you see and there's that little stitch. In there, work a treble and also in the next. Two trebles. Chain two. Going to skip the next two stitches and then in the chain one space here work a popcorn. So you're going to skip one, two stitches. If you can't see that chain one just kind of pull at your work and you'll see that that chain one space there. That's one, two skip and for the popcorn we're going to start by doing five trebles. That's one, Two, three, four, and oh, this here is number five. So now I worked five trebles. I'm going to open up my working loop, just hook it on my finger that nothing happens to it, and then come back to that first treble and pick up that stitch. Then pick up the working loop again and pull tight. And we're going to pull this loop through that first stitch. Pull through. That completes the popcorn and some patterns you'll see a chain one here. There's no chain one here, so this completes the popcorn. I'm going to do a chain two, but this is just from the pattern, so it's not the popcorn, that chain two. Chain two. Then you're going to skip the next two stitches. Now those are those two there. So that first one is really covered by the popcorn and that second one, which will bring you to the chain one space here, which is from your corner. And in there you're going to work a treble, chain one and a treble. So in that space, work a treble, chain one and another treble. I'm going to move the stitch marker up to a new position. There we go. Because that's my new corner. On this side, I'm going to do similar to that side. Chain two. One, 
two. Going to skip two stitches and then in the chain one space here work a popcorn. And the first stitch is again pretty hidden here, so that's one, two. You see, and there's a chain one. So in that space work five trebles to start the popcorn. So that's one and two. Three, four, and five. Open up again, come back to that first stitch, pick up your loop, and pull through. Chain two, two. To skip two stitches and then on the last two, so on those two, going to work a treble. So one and two. We're at our next corner. Here are going to work a new corner, two trebles, a double treble, chain one, double treble, two trebles. Two trebles, the start of the corner, so one and two, double treble, three, and there we go, chain one. I'm just going to take out the stitch mark, I'll just place it back in a moment, twice over for a new double treble. And two treble. And two. And then in that chain space there, I'm just going to place my stitch marker. And at this point, we're going to do the same on this side as we've done on that side. So I'll just show you the repeat again. On the first two stitches going to work a treble and that first one is pretty hidden so I'm just going to open that up there and work a treble on that first stitch. So one and two. Chain two. Skipping two stitches in the chain one space there going to work a popcorn. I'm just going to go slightly faster on this edge than the previous one because it's all exactly the same. But I'm going to keep on working with you just to help you on the tricky bits. And maybe if you find it difficult to read the pattern then you could also just come along with me and pull through. Chain two. In the chain one space here, I'm going to work a treble, chain one, and another treble. That's my new corner, so I'm going to move this stitch marker to my new chain one space. Chain two. Skipping those first two stitches, so that's uh, that one and that one. Then here in the chain space, if I open it up, you see it there. Work a popcorn, which starts with the five trebles. So that's one, two, three. First one, pick up the loop, pull through. Chain two, you have to skip two stitches, and on your last two stitches, going to work a treble. Now, the first one here is going to be a regular stitch, and that last one is actually going to be this chain four from the previous round. So that's a 
regular stitch and then it's on this chain four you're kind of going to have to um, push your hook in there just to cover that slip stitch so that is just a little bit tighter there now you're going to complete the corner you need two more trebles it's in that chain one space where you already have quite a few stitches again kind of going to cover those slip stitches you have there and then close with a slip stitch on the fourth of this chain five so that's number five so just counting one back in that there is number four there we go and then that completes round three if you just pop my work back you can really see the diamond you have right now and you can really see between your stitch markers where your stitches are that you, and what your stitch count is. Round four we're again going to just move into that chain one space with a slip stitch and then make a slip stitch into the chain one itself. Ready to start the round. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. That's a double treble and the chain one. Twice over for a new, for another double treble in that same space. That's your new corner made. I'm just gonna move the stitch marker again. That there is your new corner. Two more treble in the same space. So one and two. Okay. We're going to on the straight edge work a treble on the first five stitches. Now that first one there is really hidden. So that's on that stitch there pull that open so that there's your first stitch first treble in there that's one two three four and the last one here five chain two and to skip the chain two space and then around this popcorn work a front post treble that's a yarn over then you're going to go, come on the one side go back and on the other side of the popcorn come out the other side so just, just putting in from the front to the back and then from the back on the other side come out grab your yarn and then complete the treble. And what you're doing is you're going to pinch that popcorn. I mean, if you can just pull that treble a bit to help your popcorn into shape. Chain two. And then before you get to your next corner, you've got that last stitch there. You're going to work a treble on there. And this stitch, remember this stitch, and also on the other side. This stitch is insanely easy to forget that treble there. In your chain space, your chain one space, work a new corner, small corner, treble, chain one, and the treble. To move my stitch marker up, And now I'm going to do on this side very similar to what we've done on that side. In that first stitch there, remember this treble. This treble is easy to forget. Trust me, I know because I forgot it once. So that treble there. Chain two. Another front post treble around the popcorn. So from the front to the back. Come from the back to the front on the other side, grab your yarn, and complete the treble. 
chain two, skipping that chain two space on these five stitches work a treble on each. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Next up is again your corner space here, two trebles, double treble, chain one, double treble, two trebles in that space. Two trebles, so one, two, twice over, for the double treble, chain one, another double treble. I'm just going to move the stitch marker up because that chain one is of course my new corner. I'm just going to move this marker up and then two more, two more trebles in there. And two. At this point everything you've done here on this side, going to do on that side again. I'll show you the repeat once more, so you can just continue to work with me. On the first five stitches, careful of that first one there, that's your first treble, that's one, two, three, four, and five. Chain two, one, two, then around the popcorn, a front post treble. It's going slightly faster now, because it is the same as the previous edge. Chain two, in this last treble before the corner, a treble. In the chain one space work a treble, chain one and a treble. Moving my stitch marker up. Okay, I dropped it. And then a treble, chain two, front post treble around the popcorn, chain two, on your last five stitches work a treble on each, and again this last one here is that chain four. First one is there, immediately after the chain space. So one, two, three, two more, four, and this last one here on that chain four is number five. To complete this round, in that chain space you need two double crochets, sorry, two trebles, you need two trebles. So one and two trebles, complete with a slip stitch on the fourth chain, so that's number five, and then count one back, and that is number four, with a slip stitch. That completes round four, I believe, and this is what you're diamond looks like at the moment. Round five. To begin by again going with a slip stitch into the chain corner space. And then in the chain one itself make another slip stitch. Now we're ready to start round five. Chain five, that counts as our first double treble, two, three, four, 
five counts as a double treble and a chain one. And then twice over for another double treble in the chain space. Going to move the stitch marker to the new corner space. You see that chain one there is your new corner. Now, to complete this corner, we're not going to work two trebles here. So this corner is different. So don't go autopilot. So chain one and a treble. And that completes the corner. I'm going to work the first edge with you and then here I'll show you the corner and then the second edge you're going to work without me but again the second edge is exactly the same as the first edge. The first stitch, that first one that's kind of hidden there, work a treble in that first stitch. So if you don't see it just pull back your corner so in that very first stitch, work a treble. Around the next stitch, we're going to work a front post treble. Let's so yarn over. So this is the first post, so that means the second post, because this is the next stitch. Then around that post, from the back to the front, work a treble. So this was a front post treble. On the next two stitches going to work a treble. This here is the next stitch. If you look at it from the top it will look just like you're skipping a stitch to the back. Of course you're not skipping a stitch because you just work that front post stitch in there but that's what it looks like from the top. So if you're ever in doubt which stitch you need. That's one, you need two. So also on the next stitch you work a treble. The next stitch, again, a front post. So around the next stitch, you see that's the stitch we just worked, so go to the next stitch and then around the post. So front post treble. You have three stitches left till you get to the chain space. On those three, work a treble on each. So that's one. two and three. And now at the chain two space. We're going to skip the chain two space and in this front post treble here, this is the front post you worked around the popcorn and that front post stitch you're going to work a treble bobble, chain four and a treble bobble. So yarn over and then in that stitch you're going to stop with the three treble bobble. That means it's a three treble together. That's what we're going to be working in the same stitch. So take off two, yarn over, insert and pick up a loop. Take off two loops, you now have three loops on your hook and again yarn over, pick up, take off two loops, you now have four loops on your hook. Take them all off in one go. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and in the same stitch there work another treble, three treble bobble. So again, yarn over, and this is going to get a little full in there, but you just have to push your stitches to the side. It's once, in that same position, it's twice, three loops on your hook, and a last time, take off two, four loops on your hook and take them all off in one go. That completes your three treble bobble, chain four, three treble bobble. I'm going to skip the next chain two space on that side. You've got two stitches left till you get to your um, next corner. On those two work a treble on each. So one, a bit more yarn, and Two. Now onto the chain space. In the chain space, we're going to work a treble, chain one, and a treble. And I'm going to move the stitch marker 
to my new pointy, my new corner here with that chain one. I've now done the first half of the edge, the second half of the edge is very similar. I'm going to skip the first, oh sorry, we're going to work the first two stitches and then a chain two we're going to skip again. So the first two, you see that one, make sure you don't miss it because it's a bit hidden by your corner. So that's a treble and on the next stitch also a treble. Skipping the chain two, go to the front post treble and in there a treble bobble again. So it's yarn over, we insert one leg, I'm going to do three, so the three treble bobble, two and three, four loops on your hook, take them off. Chain four, one, three and four, and now we're doing the same, again a, tre a three treble bobble in that space, in that same stitch there, so you've got a bit of a hole there, just squeeze them in there. So that's one leg and the second leg and the third leg. Four loops on your hook, take them off. Chain two, I'm going to skip the chain two and get to the first stitch, the first three of these trebles going to work a treble on each of those. So that's one, two, three. The next stitch work a front post treble. That's the next stitch. Then come around on the post, work a front post treble. Next stitch, work a treble, so that's your next stitch there, that one. If you look from the top, it again looks as though you're skipping a stitch. So one and two. You have two stitches left. On the second last one, we work a front post treble. And there you go. And that last stitch, that one there, I'm going to work a treble. We're now at the chain one corner space, going to work a new corner here. Treble in the space, chain one, a double treble, chain one. This chain one is your new corner. And twice over and another double treble. Chain one and a treble. All in that same space. Just a little bit squish them in there. And now I can just move the stitch marker to my new position which is the chain space there in the middle. So between the two double trebles. I'm just going to move my stitch marker. There you go. Now this stitch here is exactly the same as that stitch there, that, that treble you've made there. So what you've just done on this edge, repeating here and do exactly the same. I'll just see you here for the last bit just to show you the corner and the join. I'm almost back to the corner where we started. I have two stitches left, just did those two trebles. So on that second last stitch, I'm going to work a front post treble. And my last stitch here, that's the chain four from the previous round. So on that last stitch, work a treble. Got to complete the corner, so here in the chain space work a treble over that space work a treble, chain one and then on the fourth of the five chain stitches, see that's the fifth, so the fourth one there, close with a slip stitch. 
And then that completes round five. I'd just like to show you what we have right now. If I just zoom out ever so slightly, you'll be able to see it better. What you'll notice is that we do not have four yeah, clear corners anymore. You've also got these extra points from the chain four space. And that's why it's important to have marked your corners, that you don't accidentally mistake this as your corner, because it's not. Those are your corners, and those are your corners. So this is what your work looks like now, and now we're ready for round six. Round six. I'm going to move to the chain space with a slip stitch and then in the in the chain one itself with another slip stitch. Exactly the same as we've done before with all these rounds. Now we're ready to start. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Counts as a double treble and a chain one. Twice over and another double treble in the chain space. Moving my stitch marker to the new corner. And that is the new corner. Chain one. And then in the chain space here work another treble. And that completes the first half of your corner. For the straight edge, in the first stitch, is that one there, going to work a treble, and that stitch is rather hidden, so make sure that you see it and get into it. It's a stitch before the chain one. In the chain one, we're going to work a popcorn, and that means five trebles. That's how we start. So in the chain one space, five trebles. One, and two, three, four, and five. Open up the, open up the loop, just hook my finger onto it that nothing happens to it, and then come back to the first of those five, you see it's in that stitch there, first one, so push your hook into the top of the stitch, pick up your loop, pull that loop closed, and now your working loop you're going to pull through the first stitch. That completes your popcorn. Now I'm going to do is we're going to skip the next stitch, the first one here, that's that one, it's also very hidden by your popcorn, that first stitch. And the second one you're going to work a treble, and that's going to be the first of eight. So we're skipping that stitch, and then in the second, work a treble. It's so one, now I'm going to work two, I'm going to work eight, and the second one here is in the front is in that front post stitch, so that's just a checkpoint for you. Two, three, four, five. That's also again in the front post stitch. This is six, and then seven, and number eight here is your last stitch before you get to the treble bobble. Eight trebles. You're now going to work a treble between the bobble and the stitch where we just were. So you've got this three treble bobble here and the last and you've got this this space here. So in there you're going to work a treble and we're also going to do it on the other side. So you see here on the other side there's also that, that space there. So there you're going to work a treble. So it's not really in a stitch, but it's between the stitches. Work a treble in there. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to skip the 
three treble bobble, the chain four and the three treble bobble and go to that space on the other side and work a treble in there, in that, uh, in that space. You have three stitches left before you get to your chain corner, to your next chain one corner space. I'm going to skip the first one. It's actually kind of a bit covered by this um, treble here anyway. And on those last two, work a treble. So skipping that stitch, work a treble on the next, and on your last stitch is the second one. You're now at your tip, you see here's a stitch marker for that chain space. In that chain space work a treble, chain one, and a treble. I'm going to move the stitch marker to my new corner. And I really find these stitch markers handy because they just help me to count and just see where I'm in the pattern. We're now going to work the second half of this edge and although it's very similar to the first half, it's just ever so slightly different with skipping stitches. It's slightly asymmetric. Now, so don't stress when you think, oh, there's something wrong in the pattern. No, it's correct. It is slightly asymmetric. So we're going to skip the first stitch, this one here, and then on the next two, work a treble. Skipping that stitch, on the next two, work a treble. One and two. See the space here between the last stitch worked and the three treble cluster in there work a treble. Chain four, one, two, three, four, skipping all of these stitches again go to this next space between the treble cluster and that first stitch and in there work a treble. Going to skip the next stitch, that's um, that one there is also kind of being hidden and go to the second and work a treble. This is again the first of eight. That's one. Two, three, here number three falls in a front post stitch. That's three, four, and this is five, and six, seven, and number eight falls just before the chain one space. So this here is number eight. And then you've got the chain one space. Now I won't surprise you, in that chain one space going to work a popcorn. So that's five trebles to start the popcorn. So that's one, two, three, and five. Coming back to the first stitch, just hook up, pull tight, and pull through. You have one stitch left before you get to the chain corner space. On that last stitch, work a treble, and that stitch really is hidden by your popcorn, so really make sure you get into that stitch. Work your treble. There. Now you're onto the chain corner space. That's a treble, chain one, double treble, two, three, chain one. This is your new corner, this chain one, and then another double treble. Move the chain, the um, stitch marker to this chain. If you 
do happen to hear something in the background. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but if you do, it's my cat snoring. Chain one and a treble. Then that completes the corner. Now, this corner is, of course, the same as the corner on the other side, and especially this treble here is the same as uh, that treble there. So, you're now going to start by working a treble again in the first stitch, then work a popcorn. Everything you've just done on this edge, you're going to do it on this edge also. And then I'll just see you here for the, with that last popcorn just to do the closing and the last part of the round. Almost round. I've just worked those eight trebles. I'm now at the chain space. So I'm going to work a popcorn in there. That's five trebles. One, two, three. And four, and my last one, five. Open up that loop, come to the first stitch, which is, yeah, it is this one, oh, there we go. Yeah. And pick up the loop, pull through to complete your popcorn. You have one stitch left, that's the chain four here from the previous round. On that stitch work a treble and it looks like I've again pulled this slip stitch rather tight so I just need to get my hook in there somewhere. So a bit of a tip from you, don't work your slip stitches too tight because you're just going to make yourself life hard for yourself. Come on, come on, come on, yeah, there we go. So punch my hook in there on that chain four and complete the treble. Here in the chain space, kind of covering that slip stitch there, work another treble. Chain one. And I'm going to close on the fourth of these five chains with a slip stitch. And that's, this is a slip stitch that was just giving me so much grief. So I make this one too tight. That completes the round. We just take a look to see where we are. So what your edge looks like. Just pop your second chain four to the back, and your work will be more flat. You can see here the popcorns you've just made. So that completes the round, and now you're ready for the next one. Round seven. We're again going to start by going to the chain one space with the slip stitch and then work a slip stitch in the chain one itself. There we go. Now we're ready for the corner. Just going to remove the stitch marker. We're going to need it in a moment anyway. Now in this space we make our first half of the corner. That's chain five. Two, three, four, five. Which is a double treble and a chain one and then we make another double treble and I'm just going to mark this corner here with this stitch marker because that chain one is my new corner another chain one and treble in this corner space here and that completes well, half of the corner. I'm going to start the straight edge, or well, the diamond edge, I should say. In the first stitch, that one there, work a treble. This stitch is slightly hidden, so make sure that you get that stitch. In the chain one, I'm going to work a popcorn. So that's five trebles. The start of the popcorn, that's one. And Come on, two, three, four, five, treble. 
open up and come back to that first of the five pick up your loop close your loop and pull through the first stitch that completes the popcorn going to skip the next stitch which is kind of hidden by the popcorn anyway so that's that stitch going to skip that and then go to the second in that second stitch going to work a treble and that is one We're going to work four actually that was the first one the second one is on the popcorn here so your second treble is on the popcorn you see you've kind of got that little gap there next to the popcorn that's where the treble goes and number three is here on the other side of the popcorn immediately after and then number four there go. that's four trebles now we're going to work a front post triple treble and we're going to work it around the treble from two rows down so from row five we've got that front post stitch there we're going to work front post triple treble around that so that's a three times yarn over and kind of having to fold your work work a front post stitch around that stitch pick up your yarn and I'm just going to hold my finger here on these loops just to keep that first loop from opening up because that will help me to keep my stitch small because otherwise that first loop it really opens up so I'm kind of hold, so by holding my finger on that loop I'm preventing it from opening up you can see it's still reasonably the same size as my other stitches I'm going to skip a stitch to the back because this front post stitch falls into that position and then work a treble and also work a treble in the next stitch so you're working two trebles here over one in each stitch another front post triple treble around this front post stitch from two rows down so that's three times over around that stitch work a front post stitch that's one two three four times taking off two loops again skip a stitch to the back and then work one treble so skipping one stitch to the back, work one treble. Now if everything went right at this point, you have two stitches left before the chain four space here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to skip those two stitches and the chain four space. And we're actually going to work in the chain four space from row five. I believe this is round five. This one. So we're going to work in that one and leave the the other chain four space here to the back. We're going to work in that in next round in round eight. So now we're going to work in this front chain four space. And in there we're going to work a triple treble bobble. So that means it's, it's a triple treble three together. That's what we're going to work in that stitch in that one in that one space. So that means a three times yarn over insert, pick up a loop and now we're going to take off two loops three times so that's one, two, three stop and again three times yarn over in that same space pick up a loop and then again one, two, three times take off two loops three loops on your hook, stop, now again three times yarn over, you see all the time I'm keeping my fingers on these loops and that's to prevent that first loop from opening up because that'll help me to keep that stitch small, it'll always open up a bit but at least to keep it as small as possible and again take off one, two, oh dear you see there it goes wrong but Never, don't never stress if this happens. Just do it again. One, two, two, three times. Got four loops on your hook. Take them all off in one go. 
And you see that first loop has opened up a bit, but I'm, I'm reasonably happy with what it looks like. Chain four. One, two, three, four. And now in this space, you're going to work another triple treble bobble. And you see how I've got the chain four space here to the back? See how that's unworked. Be sure you, you, you don't accidentally cover this. You really want to leave that unworked. So now we're going to work another one of these triple treble bobbles. I'm just going to move these stitches up just to make a bit of room there. And then we do it again. So three times yarn over. One, two, three times yarn over. And then insert, pick up a loop and take off three. Again, one, two, three. And take off one, two, three. And again, and take off, take up, pick up a loop and take off one, two, three times. Four loops on your hook, take them all off. There we go. Again, chain four, one, two, three, four. And now we're going to work a third triple treble bobble in this same space. So I'm really going to have to just shift this all up just to make a bit of room there. Still making sure you have the chain four here to the back unworked. And again, three times over. And one, two, three. Three times over, pick up a loop and take off three times. Two, three, and again last time and one two three four loops on your hook take them all off in one go so that was quite an achievement this is what your flower looks like at the moment now going to come back to round six and just skip the first two and then in these last two stitches before the chain space in this last two we're going to work a treble on each. So I'm seeing how I'm skipping those two stitches there and then work one and two. You're now at the chain corner space in there work a treble, chain one and travel. Open up. And replace the stitch marker. And on this side we're going to do the same as we did on the other side but in in mirror image. Just got my yarn a little here. There we go. Just had my yarn a bit disobeying me. In the first two stitches I'm going to work a treble. One and two. And on the next two stitches, I'm going to skip those two and then come here to this chain four space from round five. Now again we're going to work those set of flowers exactly the same as these ones. We're going to work in there again. So that means a three times over to start the treble bobble, the triple treble bobble. Two, three. It's going to go slightly faster here because it's exactly the same as before. So three times yarn over, pick up a loop and then take off three times two loops. You've got four loops on your hook and take them all off. Chain four. One, two, three, four. And repeats. So another treble, treble, bobble. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three times over, take off, one, two, three, three times over, and grab it, and one, two, three times, take off four loops on your hook, and take them off. One more time, chain four, one, two, three, four, just really make room here for that last set, 
that last flower petal. So it's one, two, three times. One, two, three. One, two, three times. Take off three times yarn over. Grab it and one, two, three times. Four loops on your hook and take them all off. And there we go. Take your time on these flower petals because they really do, just they, they need your attention. So just pause the video and make sure you get those flower petals exactly the way you want them before continuing. Skipping the first two stitches, go to the third. So we're back on round six. I've skipped those first two after the chain four space and then work a treble. We're now going to come down and work a triple treble front post around this front post stitch here. So that's three times over. And around the front post work another front post and take off one. And we do that again. We should take off four times. That's one, two, three, and four. Skip a stitch to the back. Skip one stitch there and then work two trebles. It's one and two. On the next stitch, you're going to work, again work a triple treble on this front post stitch here. So, a front post triple treble in there. Three times yarn over, grab your hook, the yarn, and then take off one, two, three, four times. Skipping a stitch to the back. See I'm skipping one stitch. Go to the next. Work a treble. We're going to work four trebles. One, two, number three here is on the popcorn. That's number three. And number four is then just the other side of the popcorn. So just push your popcorn to the side to really see those two stitches where they are. You now have one stitch left, a chain space and another stitch before the corner. You're going to skip that stitch and go to the chain space where you're going to work a popcorn. So that's five travels to start the popcorn. That's one, two, this is three, Four and five. Open up, come to that first stitch, pick up your loop and close. On this last stitch, work a treble. Go to the corner, that is a treble. Chain one, double treble, a chain one, another double treble, and this last chain one is your new corner. So I'm just going to move the stitch marker to that new corner position. So that's my new corner there chain one and another treble. And that completes my corner. Now, and if I just open this up, and this corner here is the same as the corner we started with and especially that stitch is the same as this treble here that's there in the corner. So everything you've, you've just done on this edge repeats on the other one here also. And I'll just see you here after the popcorn just to show you that corner. Almost to the corner again. I've just done the first bit of the popcorn. Just need to complete that popcorn. And then here on my on that chain four work the last treble. So this is the same as the previous rounds that we've done. In the chain space, work a treble, 
chain one and close with a slip stitch on the fourth of those five chains. That completes round seven, one more round to go. Round eight, moving with a slip stitch into the chain one corner space and then another slip stitch in the chain one itself. Now we're ready to start. Chain five, one, two, three, five, counts as a double treble and a chain one. Then another double treble and then we move the stitch marker to the new corner space so that chain one there's a new corner chain one and a treble in the chain corner space there we go that completes well the first half of the corner on the straight edge going to work a treble on that first stitch so before the chain space treble on there and then in the chain space work popcorn. Now this won't surprise you, we've worked this popcorn many times in that chain space. So we do five trebles. Two, three, four, and five. Open up and then in that first stitch just pull through. We're going to work 11 trebles till we get here to the flower. We're going to skip the first stitch, so that very first stitch, that's on that one there, just behind the, just well, kind of covered by the popcorn, skip that one, then go to the next, that's the first, that will be your first treble. I've just got a knot here in the yarn. I'll just make sure that yeah, that knot is tight. I'll just cut off those little threads there when I've finished this, this motif. In the next stitch, which is the second, which is going to be the popcorn here, it's going to work a treble in there. You can now see the way that I've worked it, I've made sure the knot in this yarn is to the back. So when I cut it off, you won't even see that it's there. That's two. Then number three is in the stitch after the popcorn. That's three. Continue. This is four. We work eleven. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10 and 11 and number 11 is the last stitch before you get to the flowers so that's just a checkpoint for you this is number 11 so now you've worked 11 trebles what we're now going to do is we're going to push these flower petals forward and then work in the stitches here to the back you see you've got two stitches there. I believe those are trebles. You've got a chain four loop here and two more trebles. We're going to be working in those. And we're going to be making double trebles in all of them. So twice over and then in that first of those two stitches work a double treble. And also work a double treble in the next stitch. And two. In the chain four space here, going to work five double trebles. That's one, and two, and three. This is number four, and 
on the two stitches after the chain four space, especially this first one, if you don't see it, just open that up, work a double treble on each. That's one. And on that last second one there, work another double treble. And now if you push your flower forward, you see you've really worked behind that flower. You kind of made a bit of a background for it. And actually this helps your flower to stay at the top to give you that 3D effect. I'm going to work till we get to the chain corner space. You've got three stitches there. We're going to work a treble on each of those. So we're going to skip the flower and that first treble. We're going to work a treble on there. That very first one there. So that's one treble, two, and then this is number three. We're at the chain space. So work a treble, chain one, and a treble. Just going to move the stitch marker to that new. Position. And now we're ready to do on this side what we've done on that side. So doing the same thing, but in reverse order. On the first three stitches here, I'm going to work a treble on each of those. That's one, two, and here's number three. Then again, flop your flowers forward here to the back. Work a double treble on the first of those two stitches. See, that's the first one there. And a double treble on the next. In the chain space, Going to work five in that chain space, going to work five double trebles. So one, two, three, this is four and And the two stitches after the chain space also work a double treble on each. So one and two. Bring your flowers forward. Now on that first stitch there, immediately after the flowers, that's where we're going to start that first stitch. It's actually surprisingly easy to miss that stitch and go to the second here, this treble. So be, be mindful to take that first stitch. I'm going to work a treble in there and that's going to be the first of again 11. That's one, two, so the second one is in that front post stitch. It's two, this is three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number ten here is on the popcorn, and number eleven is then the stitch just after the popcorn. It's number eleven. The next stitch we're going to skip, so we're going to skip that stitch and in the chain one space work a popcorn. You do that by doing five trebles. So one, two, three, four, and five, three, four, five, 
and then complete the popcorn oh, to the corner and that last stitch there it's very hidden by the popcorn or the treble in the corner space work a treble chain one a double treble chain one and another double treble that's your new corner, I'm just going to move that stitch marker to that new corner chain one and a treble this corner is of course the same as the corner we started with, so everything just done on this edge, so working behind the flowers, I can just pop my flowers back and everything go all the way around and I'll just see you here for the last stitch. Almost to the end of the round, just done the five trebles for the popcorn, so I just need to complete the popcorn and on the last stitch, which is the chain four here, work a treble And then complete the corner. So in the chain one space, work a treble, chain one, and close on the fourth of the five chains with a slip stitch. And there we go. Leave your yarn attached. You're now finished with part one. Awesome. But leave your yarn attached because you're going to continue with this in the next part. So this is where you are right now, you've worked a diamond, you can work your yarn tail from round one, you can work that away, I'm just going to push that under there, worked away. You're going to notice that your work might bobble a bit, now don't worry about that, as it grows bigger this will fix itself and also when it's in the final blank that will, but bobble will be gone, so don't worry too much about that if your work bobbles a bit. I've now worked one diamond with you. You need to work five more in your other contrasting colors. So that means this is one that you're going to have to work a few more. So you see here's some orange, I've got one in purple and green and oh, this blue, I just love this blue. And all of these you also need to do. So that will be the entire part one. So let me just grab all of these and just put them to the side. So brings us to the end of part one. When you've done all your diamonds, you're finished. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next week for part two.